In this session, I'll demonstrate how to create a mail merge using a query from Microsoft Access. In order to create a mail merge, we can either use a table in Microsoft Access, an existing table, or we could use an existing query. So in our case, we are going to first create the query, and uh, then we are going to create the mail merge. In that way, you learn both at the same time. So we go here under Create, go under Queries here, Query Wizard, and then Simple Query, OK. And then we are going to go under Customers. And let's say we want to use a customer ID, customer first name, last name, and then let's say the email. And also let's go under the Contracts table, and we'll get the contract amount, and then the contract type as well. So we are just creating a query at this point with those fields from two tables. We click on next, click on next. We give also a name to this, call it, and then click on finish. So the data is here at this point. Now to create the mail merge, we can do this two ways. We can either create the mail merge directly from Microsoft Access, or we can go to Word first and create the mail merge from there. Or the other option would be to dump this data into Microsoft Excel and then do the mail merge from Microsoft Excel. So we'll basically do it from Access from this point. And then I'll show you from Word as well. So if we go here to the, uh, this is our query. And then we go under external data. Now this you also can right click. So we have our query here and then we go to external data. And the other option here is to actually create a word merge. So Word Merge, it says you specify the table and you create a mail merge wizard through Microsoft Word. We click on Microsoft Word Merge here. It says you want to link it to an existing document or do you want to create a new one? We'll just create a new one because we don't have an existing letter currently. Click OK. Now the system is going to open Microsoft Word automatically. And here at this stage, it's asking us as to what we want to do. Do we want to create letters? email messages or envelopes and such. Once we are in Microsoft Word, here we type our letter. We could say dear and then insert field. We put first name, comma. And we basically just type our letter. And then every so often in our letter, we can actually in include here various fields from our access table. Basically, we type the letter here with uh, incorporating the fields that we have in our Access database. So here we could use their first name, last name. We could use their contact amount stated somewhere and then a contact type. If we needed more fields, then we need to go and customize our query from the Access database. So for now, I'm just going to put the amount and the type here. So we say, thank you for partnering with us to meet your needs with the recent contract. And the computer will put the amount in there. And you could put the contact type. Of course, it has to make sense. And then you basically finish uh, typing your letter. Then we go here under the next stage here, or uh, start your document. And then we can use the current document in our case, or we could have created a, used an existing document if you have a letter from before. Then we go select recipients. We'll use an existing list. And then we'll select the existing list here which is basically a customer query for mail merge. So we don't really need to select the list. It's already selected because we started the mail merge from Microsoft Access. So that's how it's linked automatically there. Now here we write our letter, which we actually just did earlier. And then it says here, preview our letters. Notice dear Owen and then contact one. And then this was the contract. And then the next step here is to complete the mail merge. So we click on complete the merge and then edit individual letters. Then click OK here. Now here we can see all the various letters from that mail merge from that specific query. 
Now keep in mind this you don't need to modify if there is something that uh, needs to be corrected and such you need to actually go back to the database and change the information in the database and then rerun the query. The beauty of, of this stuff is and I'm going to close this mail merge the results at this point so I'll say I don't need to save the results but um, the beauty of this is that is that if I save this form and this is the form actually that typically has the codes and all that stuff linked to the database if I save this and then I close word and then I come back here to my uh, document so this was my letter and two weeks have passed or something uh, time has passed now I want to rerun this again notice if I open it up again it will ask me do I want to update it for link to the access uh, query I say yes and now I can go ahead here and go under mailings go under mail merge and then uh, step by step and pretty much here I don't actually have to do them a step by step I could go here under finish and merge and then edit individual letters and it's going to actually rerun the whole query again I know I did this fairly quickly so you can rewind the video and see it again for your uh, benefit but the advantage is, is that you don't have to always create a new form you can simply save the form from Word open it up whenever you want to rerun it and it's going to pull the data directly from that query from the access database automatically for you so this was the way how to do a query from Microsoft Access into Word the other way to do it is that you can open Word first and then go to Microsoft Access and pull the data from a query or from a table and that will work as well so if I go here to Microsoft Word and I open a new document here and, I, and uh, then I go under mailings I go under start a mail merge and I'd recommend that you use the mail merge wizard here then uh, start next and uh, we're going to use um, a current document here or you know just this current blank document that we have in front of us next here we're going to select the recipients now notice it doesn't link automatically to our table into the database so we have to actually go in and link to it so if I click here on browse now I need to find my database where I have it and double click on it and now notice it lists all the tables and the queries so you can actually do a mail merge from actual tables or from the queries within a database now I click OK here notice it shows all the uh, records here including the fields that we had selected as part of that query we could filter and sort them if we wanted to do that furthermore but for now we're not then we're going to write the letter and we say dear and then insert field and we say first name space last name and then write the letter with the various fields so I put the amount so basically you're just putting the actual fields that you want to use of course this I'm doing this fairly quickly here for the sake of time you could put additional comments and then you can preview those letters so this is how it's going to look thank you dear Owen thank you for your contact type and such and such residential number one and and so on and so on next you click on here on complete the merge then you choose edit individual letters this just gives you an idea as to what they are going to look like so right now we have five letters that have been generated automatically so that's how that works now the other thing that you can do is from access or or from word you could do also email merges so if I go here to my customers you know this uh, customers table has an email field so I could actually do an email merge for those customers and I could either create a query that includes those email fields or I could use my customer table for uh, this purpose so if I wanted to send them contact information and all that stuff which is in a different table then you'll need to use a query and you need to include the email field in one of those queries 
uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to create a query for that at this stage, but I'm just going to use the table customers, which has already a field with email in it, and we'll create an email merge. So as so I have opened here the customers table and I click on mail merge or word merge. So here's customers word merge. And then it's asking us, do we want to link to an existing Word document or create one? We want to create a new one. So basically, you're going to write the email in Word, and then it's going to use Microsoft Outlook to actually deliver the mail. So it's important here as well that the third piece of this puzzle is actually to use Microsoft Outlook and have Microsoft Outlook configured to be able to receive and send emails as well. So now notice Microsoft Word has been opened here in the bottom. And then we say, OK, I want to create email messages here. Then I say next here to start the document. Then it says, do you want to use the current document or do you want to use an existing document? So we'll use the current document, which is right here. Then select the recipients. The recipients, it's already linked to the customers table in access. So we don't have to really select the customers at this point or type a new one. We'll use the existing list. Then we'll write the email message. And here we just write dear and then put their first name, last name, comma. And you're basically just picking the fields and being creative or whatever your need is to utilize those fields in your email to them. So in this case, we're going to tell them, OK, here's what we have on file with you or from you on our systems. And if you have any problems or anything like that, just let us know. So we say uh, a name, first and last name. Then we could put in there a street address. And you basically format this a little bit nicer if you'd like. You can go here under the Home tab and customize this any way you want. And so next, you click on Preview your email message. Then you complete the merge next. And then we're going to choose here Electronic Mail. So this is the difference between the Word email merge and a regular mail merge for letters. Here for the email merge, you have to click on Electronic Mail and then the other field here, the other important thing is that you have to tell the system which field actually contains the email address. So in this drop down, it has to be the field that corresponds with the email address from your access uh, table or access query. For example, here is in access, this is email. It's called email, the label on the top here. And then you type the subject line here. So this would be just like as if you were to type an individual email to somebody. That would be the subject that you want to write to them. And then the email format, uh, HTML. You want to use HTML particularly if you want to embed pictures and things of that nature as part of your uh, document here. But what we typed over here, it's going to be the body of the message that is going to be sent through email. Now, again, it's important. Uh, if I press OK here, it's actually going to open up Microsoft Outlook and it's actually going to try to send all of those emails that are in the table in the Access database. So it's going to try to email here uh, 42 customers all in one click, basically. So I'm not going to press OK here because it's not going to try to send those. But that's how this system will work for sending email messages. It's a powerful feature. Again, you can actually go then back through Microsoft Word and do the same thing like we did for the regular letters and create an email merge. You can do it either from Microsoft Access, from the table itself and initiate the email merge, or you can do this from Word, configure the, go through the steps of the mail merge, and then pull the table, pull the fields, write the email and press send from Word, and then in the sent messages in Microsoft Outlook, you'll see each individual email that was sent out. So that's how you do a mail merge. 
and an email merge and of course you can also do labels if you need it to from here as well through Microsoft Access.